the Hebrews, right? If I'm not mistaken, Moses wrote the first, the Torah, he wrote the first right. five books okay. of the Bible, right? Sure. And he was a Hebrew, right? Okay. So the, the thing would be to historically look at, did he exist before these other civilizations? Because that's, that's, that's the only thing that I'm saying, that the Hebrews did not exist before these other civilizations. Okay, so, so let me ask the, you this. That's the thing that I'm saying historically now, looking outside of the Bible, where, from a historical perspective. Where did, where did, okay, so where did Arabians descend from? Arabians? I'm not sure. I don't, if I don't uh, know my brother, Sumerians. I don't know. What kind of people are the Sumerians? All right, two minutes. Two minutes. Uh, what kind of people are the Sumerians? I don't know. The Sumerians but, are, they are, they are originally of, of was African people. Okay, where did those people descend from? They say they came from the Anunnaki. That's what they say. The Anunnaki is a deity. No. Yes, it is. Yes, yes it is, no, bro. That's not, that's not. Look it up on your Google. What is the Anunnaki? And it's going to show you a picture of a deity. Yeah, it is, but. Okay, so no, that's what it is. No, the Anunnaki. You know what the Anunnaki is? The Anunnaki. Look at this. My brother, right here. <laughs> So whatever religion or, 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 or you ideology, allow me leave to it. Explain, but I want to bring him in. Watch this. You know what the Anunnaki is? It's just a deity. You know what a deity is? It's a, a false god. Watch this. Look at this picture right here. This is just the same as, an, as the Anunnaki. This right here. This is the same. This is a false god. You see what I mean? This, the same thing. It's a false god. You see what I mean? These right here, these are false ideologies, different religions to worship a false god. That's right. all it is. If you look it up, like you was like you was Googling, right? Remember you was Googling? Okay, go ahead. Google what, what is the Anunnaki. And I it'll show you a small little is. figurine. No, no, my brother, That's what it shows you. Explain because this is Read what you that's what I know about, my brother. You ain't even gonna yeah. Psalms 86, uh, 96. <laughs> Psalms 96. Psalms chapter 96 and verse 4. Huh? For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. He's to be feared above what? All God. Read. For all the gods of the nations are idol. All the gods of the nations, like the Assyrians, those are false gods. The Assyrians gods, those are false okay. gods. Babylonian gods, those are false gods. Okay, so so according to who? Though? According to the Bible. Okay, so if there's documentation that these civilizations had similar documentation. Bring forth your documentation. Don't come up here talking about I Googled it. Bring forth your documentation. Listen, my brother, I'm just out here random. I'm just saying. I'd have known that. So now watch this. I'd have known we showing you, it. Look, we showing you in the Bible, and then we show you in other books that show you that what the Bible is saying is true. And I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not saying it's not, my brother. Watch this, I'm read. saying that they got it. Baruch, from chapter other. three, verse thirty-six. <laughs> he have found out all the way of knowledge and have given it unto Jacob, his servant, and to Israel, his beloved. So now, when the knowledge of this Bible, all knowledge that you, the the how to read, how to how to do math, all these different things, how to reason. How to have moral knowledge that between comes one of Samaria. No, it don't, yes, bro. It does. Historically. How did that come from the Sumerians? Historically. No, that does not come from the Sumerians. Us, this, this All right, let me ask you this question. I'm going to ask you this last question. That's something that Gabriel, I'm going to ask you this last question. <laughs> I'm going to ask you this last question, okay. right? And then I'm not even going to talk about it no more. Watch this. No, nah, we not. Listen, just, just listen. Just listen. Just listen. If the Sumerians, and for anybody that can hear this, if the Sumerians talk, everything and knew everything where the hell the Sumerians at today why did their civilization crumble if they knew all everything their civilization not here bro how the hell did they know everything and teach all if their civilization has crumbled a lot of civilization has crumbled guess where all the civilization gonna crumble this one that we sitting in right now. And guess what? You gonna burn with it if you don't stick to what the Bible say. That's what I'm trying to show you. But you two stuck with, but yeah, but the Samaria. The Samarians don't get too sick about you. 
that, that, that pe those people don't care about you. You can have Africans or Arabians standing right here and ask if they give to anything about you. They don't care about blacks and Hispanics. They had us in captivity at one point. You think they cared about us? Hell no! We, we, may have taught, we may have learned something about their gods and their beliefs, and guess what we do? We believe about it, then when our children have, we have children, we teach it to our children, but guess what? That's why I say we mingled amongst them. We were amongst them, and we learned their works, which was a trap for us, because now we think about that stuff. And we say, oh, this is, we gonna run with this. Oh, we gonna run with that. We gonna run with this. The same thing you doing, okay, the same okay. thing you doing okay. is the same thing that our brothers and sisters do when they follow Islam. No, I yes, it is. That's, that's what I mean. Shh. I mean, how not? So how not? What's the difference? Okay, so according to, if you wanna. What's the difference? The, you say you disagree. What's the I difference? I disagree that, I, I feel like, for if, 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 if in terms of what Islam believes, they believe that they believe in a deity. Okay, I don't believe in a deity. What do you believe in? I believe in what the Sumerians believed in. They believed they in a know. deity. Okay, no, no. Yes, they did. Okay, okay so if you allow me to That's explain, you my brother, zero, just allow Jeremiah me to explain. You ain't even letting me talk. You say you saying that they believed in some. They believed in no, some. They I'm all believe in deities. I'm saying that I believe they wrote about that they were created from gods in the sky. Okay, and, and celestial that, bodies. Celestial bodies. Okay. So there was a guy named Zachariah Sistin who, okay. who came with a book that said that these gods were extraterrestrials. Where did he get his info okay. from? Okay, okay. So read, in, Where did he get his info read from? in their documentation that they Did he document his sources? Okay, so he, 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 he decoded the information that they left behind, okay? He, did he document where's the sources at? What source did he come from? The Sumerians. This this what they left behind. They said this they said they were created okay. by these beings. Okay, they were created by beings and then what? What are these beings called? The Anunnaki. These these beings are just called the Anunnaki. Yeah, the Anunnaki. Alright, read go to uh First Thessalonians. You got it. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 21. Mm -hmm. Prove all things. Now this is what we trying to figure out. Okay, so the, the so Bible says that the we have to prove the Anunnaki all things. Are the creators of your Bible. The, That's the what Anunnaki are the creators of this Bible. Yes. I believe that. I believe that extraterrestrials created that Bible and God. Where, where do you, where, where do Bible, you, but that's what I'm That's saying. what I believe. I don't God. understand. You got to show your proof. You, you, if you, you want, show, if, if you, you, you say, you say, no, no, listen, listen. I'm not going to accept my proof. All right, so you saying that in uh, Assyrians, the Assyrians, right? The Sumerians. I mean, Sumerians, that's what I mean. You saying that the Sumerians, their God created the world. That their God created, I'm saying that the God, I believe oh, now, this is what I'm I asking a simple question, yes or no? You're saying the, the the Sumerians, right? That their God created the world. I believe there's not one God. I believe that your I believe that. So you know what you believe in? Okay. So you know what you believe in? I believe in. You believe in the same thing that the Greeks believe in no, because there's multiple God, gods. Believe you believe in all God the, all the gods the of the nations? No, I believe. That's what you believe in. I believe that God hey. is source. God is so go to uh go back to that. That's first Thessalonians. So I want to know because what we're saying is that if you come up and you're gonna say something contrary with the Bible, you have to prove it. Because if anything, I mean, every you listen to this. My proof, my brother. I showed you Google. You just you read something from it. Google. You can Google it yourself. You read you something from Google that gonna, said that, the, my, that supposedly the Sumerians are the first civilization, but the Bible don't say that. Okay, so this is this okay. what the Bible say. Go to Psalms 106. Watch this. Now everything we've read from the Bible, you keep saying, well yeah, I agree with that. Because it's true, you can see it yeah, in your society I agree right now. Because now watch this, read it. Psalms 106. <laughs> Psalms chapter 106, verse 35. 
but were mingled among the heathen and learned their words. So now it's saying that the blacks, Hispanics, and native people, we have been mingled among the heathens. Who are the heathens? Ethiopians, Africans, Chinese, Americans, Sumerians. Okay. Those are heathens, okay. according to the Bible. Okay. Okay. It says we were mingled amongst them and learned what? And learned their works. And we learned about their gods, right. Right. their deities, right. the things that they follow. Right. Read. And they served their idols. And we did what? Served their idols. We served those idols. We're not talking about God. We're talking about their idols. Read. Which were a snare unto them. Which were what? A snare unto them. Why does the Bible say that those idols were a trap unto us? Why do you think? I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to give you an example. If you marry a Japanese woman, you think she's going to celebrate Christmas? I mean, you think she's going to, uh, how can I say it like this? If you marry a Japanese woman, do you think she's going to celebrate the stuff you celebrate? Or you or she going to be celebrating like the year of the dragon and all that other crazy stuff, right? Right? So when we, when we mingle amongst other nations, we start to serve the things that they serve. And follow the things that they do. God said that's a trap to us. That's all that's doing is putting us... Uh, further down that's not rising us up as a people so for example if I married a white person and I'm gonna follow all their works like uh, Christmas Thanksgiving that's all their holidays that's not my holidays right so the Sumerians are part of those heathens the uh, the Babylonians are part of those heathens the Persians are part of those heathens that he's talking about. We learn all their different ideologies and gods and, and all the works that they do, right. and we follow them. Right. Just like, for example, here in America when we were in slavery, we were taught to do what? Shave our face. Right? right? That's why the black man still shave his face now, and you right. get all them damn bumps and look right. crazy as hell. Right. You see what I mean? Because right. we learn their works, right. Right. and we follow them. Right. We follow Christmas. Christmas right. ain't got nothing to do with God. Right, right. Yeah, that's true. Mother's Day ain't got nothing to do with God. Right. Easter ain't got nothing to do with God. That's right. So that's what I'm trying to show you that that's I can true. tell you something out of this Bible and you can see it. And that's a hundred percent. You can't get no more real than that. No, but you can't read something from another book okay. and say, this predates the Bible. But that book doesn't show you how to do a damn thing to help your people out of the state that your people are in. Right. That book is, what is it? All right. So let's just, okay, let's so, play a game. So, let's play a game. Let me, let me just now say this. you read the book. Hold on. We're going to play a game real quick. Okay. Now say you read the book that you're talking about. Does that book teach you how to get out of an impoverished state? Does that book teach you how to unify with your own people? And does that book teach you how to get out of sin? Does that book teach you how to grow as a as a nation? Does that te- does that book teach you how to do different things like that? It can. It, I'm not asking if it can. It can. I'm saying does it. Because this book right here, the Bible, teaches why the blacks and Hispanics are in a poverty state and at the bottom of society, how they got there, and how to stay the hell out of it. Bring it and how to get back to being the ruling class of the world. Because at one point in time, we were, when we were following this Bible, we were ruling. But when we went against the Bible, that's exactly, even in counts of whatever book you pull up, historical books, right. it tells you the accounts of King David, King Solomon, King right. Saul. Right. It tells you about those things. Right. 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 That's that's outside of the Bible, right. talking about it. Right. And then it tells you, it shows, right, and then historical accounts mm-hmm. tell you that when they went against their God, they fell. Nation is men leading by example. 